Did you know that you have a more than 90% chance of surviving a plane crash? For the most part, plane crashes are not as bad as the news will have you think. A plane crash often catches your eye when an egregious loss of life is involved. While it is true that a rare plane crash can take the lives of hundreds of people, it is improbable that you will ever be the victim of one. There are tens of millions of flights every year and, on average, less than 100 crashes annually. The number of crashes have been going down with every passing year. Statistically, air travel is by far the safest mode of travel on Earth. Nevertheless, like anything in life, it is not always sunshine and roses. Sometimes planes do crash, and sometimes passengers die. Today, we will focus on such incidents. We have chosen the incidents with a high number of civilian fatalities. Here are the 10 worst plane crashes in aviation history. Turkish Airlines Flight 981, 1974 This was the deadliest single aircraft crash in aviation history at the time. In March 1974, the Turkish Airlines Flight 981 was flying from Istanbul to London. The plane took off from Istanbul Airport and landed at Paris's Orly Airport. Within minutes of the plane taking off again, its cargo door broke, tore open, and flew apart. As you may have seen in movies, a plane has a fixed air pressure and any changes in this finely attuned pressure can wreak havoc on the aircraft. The plane was flying over Mo when the rear cargo door came off. A section of the aircraft went with it, taking six passengers to their deaths. The pressure difference caused massive systematic failures, and pilots began to lose control of the plane. The plane started a speedy descent at 20 degrees from the horizontal. Pilots tried to push the nose up to no avail. Within less than two minutes of the cargo door being torn off, the plane had crashed. There was a total of 346 people on board, civilians and crew combined, all of whom met their maker. Investigations revealed that the cargo door was not fully locked in position at takeoff. The Tenerife Airport Collision, 1977 The Tenerife Airport Collision was regarded by many as the worst accident in aviation history, based on the sheer number of fatalities. It might just be that. At the Tenerife Airport in Spain, after a delay of several hours, Pan Am 1736 was finally about to depart. The crew and passengers were hoping to make way to the Canary Islands. However, it was not meant to be. On March 27, KLM 4805 collided with Pan Am 1736 on the runway. How could such a thing have happened? The accident happened due to some bizarre coincidences and human mistakes. For starters, none of the planes were supposed to be at the airport. Both were headed for the Canary Islands, but Los Palmas Airport's bomb threat had postponed all incoming flights, so the two 747s were sent to Tenerife. What followed was a lot of confusion between the control tower and the respective pilots. With both planes oblivious to the situation of the other, the KLM began its takeoff. The Pan Am aircraft was standing at an angle, and when its pilots saw the oncoming plane, they tried to push themselves off the runway, but it was too little too late. The planes crashed, taking the lives of the majority of the people in both aircraft. There were 583 fatalities, with 61 people managing to survive the incident. Air India Flight 855, 1978 New Year's Day, 1978 Air India Flight 855 was scheduled to leave Bombay's Santa Cruz Airport and head for Dubai International Airport. The plane crashed almost two miles off the coast of Mumbai killing all of its 213 passengers. Investigations conducted afterward revealed the cause of the crash. The plane's attitude indicator, which shows the horizon, had malfunctioned. So, when the captain took a scheduled right turn, the machine kept displaying the vehicle in a right bank. The plane had three attitude indicators, two of which showed the aircraft in a right bank. The pilots would have checked their horizon to confirm this, but they were flying over a dark Arabian Sea with very little visibility. The pilots kept adding left bank beyond the point of no return. The Boeing 747 had now begun losing altitude. All of the 190 civilian passengers and the 23-member crew died. American Airlines Flight 191, 1979 American Airlines Flight 191 was supposed to take off from O'Hare Airport in Chicago, Illinois, and land at the Los Angeles International Airport, but fate had other plans. The DC-10 took off carrying 258 passengers and 13 crew members. As it was speeding on the runway, 
The plane's 9,000-pound engine and the piece connecting it to the left wing, the pylon, got torn apart. As the hydraulic and power lines to the left wing ruptured, the plane's left side disappeared in white smoke. The traffic controller tried to engage with the pilots via radio, but received no reply. The engine and the connecting components had fallen onto the runway and were skidding alongside the plane by this point. Since the pilots could not see this and had no contact with the controller, they proceeded with the takeoff. Of course, the plane took off, but its left wing damage caused it to begin rolling. With no power, the aircraft kept losing speed and eventually crashed into the ground. The distance between the points of departure and the crash was not more than 4,600 feet, and not a single soul survived. Air India Flight 182, 1985 On June 23, 1985, Air India Flight 182 departed Toronto for London with the final destination of Mumbai. The plane stopped for a routine stop in Montreal. An interesting thing happened there. The Canadian officials removed three suspicious packages from the aircraft and, as it would later become apparent, they did not remove all suspicious packages. When the plane was at an altitude of 31,000 feet over the Atlantic Ocean, it disappeared off radar screens. An explosion from a bomb planted by Canadian six separatists had sent the plane reeling. The plane fell around 120 miles off the southwestern tip of Ireland. None of the passengers aboard the commercial aircraft survived. 268 Canadians, 27 British, and 24 Indian citizens lost their lives as a result. The fatality count of 329 makes this one of the worst plane crashes in history. Iran Air Flight 655, 1988 This accident happened in the final year of the Iran-Iraq War. Iran Air Flight 655 was scheduled to leave Tehran and arrive in Dubai. Unfortunately, the plane could not complete its journey as it was mistakenly shot down by a U.S. unit over the Persian Gulf. The U.S. Navy was patrolling the Persian Gulf to protect oil routes from attacks. A cruiser ship called the USS Vincennes detected an unidentified bogey on its radar. The cruiser mistook the Airbus A300, full of civilians, for a fighter jet. They attempted to reach out via radio, but the plane did not respond to the distress signals. Finally, the U.S. shot the plane down, killing all 290 people on board. Later, the U.S. government agreed to pay $61.8 million in U.S. dollars, but did not acknowledge any wrongdoing, admit legal liability, or issue a formal apology to Iran. Japanese Airlines Flight 123, 1985 It was August 12, 1985. Japan Airlines Flight 123 was scheduled to depart from Tokyo's Haneda Airport and arrive at Osaka International Airport. A Boeing 747-SR was operating this domestic route. Bon, the Japanese holiday, was right around the corner, so the plane was filled to the brim. The plane left Tokyo airspace without any issues, but a distress signal came shortly afterward. The pilots described the situation. The craft had suddenly started to lose altitude and attempts to get it under control had become next to impossible. Half an hour later, the plane crashed into Mount Takamagahara near Mount Osutaka. It was such a remote area that all attempts to reach the targets in time failed. The rescue teams reached the crash site around 14 hours after the crash. The plane had been carrying a whopping 524 people, and the accident claimed the lives of 520. Later investigations revealed that the aircraft had a faulty tail fin that was weakened due to wear and tear. Sharky Dodry Collision 1996 The world's deadliest mid-air collision happened in 1996 when a Boeing 747, Saudi Flight 763, collided with an Aleutian 276, Kazakhstan Airlines Flight 1907, over the village of Sharky Dodry. The Saudi flight was returning to Dharan from Delhi while the Kazakhstani flight was coming from Chimkent to Delhi. The village over which the collision took place was located around 60 miles west of Delhi. This incident occurred because the two flights were on the same path. One was taking off while the other was landing. The control tower instructed the Saudi plane to climb further because traffic was coming his way, but neither aircraft could be contacted. Investigations revealed that the Kazakhstani 276 was not flying at the required altitude. The plane's tail collided with the left wing of the Saudi plane inside a cloud and sent both aircraft crashing. There were 349 people aboard the two planes, all of whom fell to their demise. The 9-11 Incident 2001 
September 11, 2001 took the world by storm. Although the planes did not carry as many passengers as some of the other flights on this list, the incident's overall impact was unparalleled. Terrorists hijacked American Airlines Flight 11, which had 92 people on board, and United Airlines Flight 175, which had 65 people on board. Both of these planes crashed into the twin towers of the World Trade Center. All the people aboard the planes were killed, but what happened outside the planes was much worse. The World Trade Center fell, and between the falling concrete and debris, almost 3,000 people lost their lives. The 9-11 incident remains the most devastating terrorist attack in history. Malaysia Airlines 370 and 17, 2014 2014 was a particularly bad year for Malaysia Airlines. On March 8, 2014, a Boeing 777-200ER departed from Kuala Lumpur International Airport, heading for Beijing Capital International Airport. However, around 38 minutes after departure, the plane lost contact with air traffic control. Still, the radar tracked it for another hour, and then it disappeared. The plane and the 239 people on board were nowhere to be found. The mystery became a worldwide story, giving birth to many conspiracy theories. The search for the missing airplane remains the most extensive search in aviation history. Over the years, the investigations into the mysterious Flight 370 have provided us with some evidence. Scattered fragments of the airplane have been found on nearby coasts. Still, nothing substantial in terms of the missing personnel and civilians has yet surfaced. The people were still reeling from the previous disaster when a new one struck. This was far more immediately tangible. Malaysia Airlines Flight 17, traveling from Amsterdam to Kuala Lumpur, was shot down over eastern Ukraine. The Russia-Ukraine conflict in the Donbas and Donetsk regions was the hot issue of the day. The plane was initially in contact with the relevant controllers, but after losing contact, a Russian surface-to-air missile destroyed the plane. All 283 passengers and 15 crew members died in the crash. We hope you enjoyed this video on the top 10 most terrible plane crashes. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. Also, grab your free Mythology Bundle ebook while it's still available. The link is in the description.